What's up, YouTube? I would like to introduce my three latest creations, Squelch Machine, Grid Machine, and Malfunction Machine. Let's dive in and have a look. So these are basic multi-sample instruments designed for the Decent Sampler system. For those who don't know what that is, it's a free sampler. I'm gonna post a link to where you can actually grab uh, the sampler itself in the description because you actually need that plugin to load these particular instruments. So yeah, it's just kind of simple stuff. I end up using a lot of these same sounds, but synthesizing them kind of every time I use a squelch sound or every time I use a particular kind of grid sound or something like that. Um, I ended up wasting a lot of time, you know, synthesizing the same sounds from scratch or, you know, where I wanted a situation where I had, you know, lots like a variation on different sounds. I ended up having to load multiple different plugins. And yeah, I find um, just for myself, uh, just having these particular instruments has been quite a, a workflow improvement. And yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And I want to show you sort of what they're good at what they're particularly designed for and a couple of the cool ways in which you can use them in context of your music. So essentially they're the same idea uh, expanded across the board. So the grid machine is tuned grid sounds, for example, uh, single shot synth sounds, uh, each one tuned to the specific key that it's loaded to. For example, if your track is in C, uh, then you can just load a grid sound in C or whatever the, the kind of uh, key of your track is. Uh, it's the same thing with the squelches and then malfunction are kind of tuned glitchy sounds. So this is particularly interesting. They kind of work as grid sounds as well, but particularly interesting for creating these sort of like random glitchy sounds, but you can still kind of get them to sound in tune. So you can kind of create synthy melodies out of it and all sorts of stuff like that. So anyway, let's dive into a couple of the different interesting uses for each of these instruments. Okay, so first let's have a look at the grid machine. So here I've got a track which I've made using just samples from the Eli uh, Cytron Sample Pack Volume 3, uh, which is available on Sound Directive. Um, just basic loops that I've got from that sample pack loaded in here. Here, I wanna start adding in some sort of gritty synth sounds, and I wanna show you you know, the capabilities here of what we can do with the grid machine. So let's just find a suitable sample, which I think sounds good. A more darker kind of sound I think could be cool, that kind of thing. So the trick here is to kind of like find a rhythm that works. So let's just play the track and kind of like add in a couple of notes here and there and see, see what works. So there are very basic parameters on here, but I mean, I don't end up using these most of the time because the sounds are already kind of like pre-processed and everything like that. Um, and I don't believe Decent Sampler has automation capabilities. However, you can MIDI learn these, for example, by right clicking and MIDI learning and doing it that way if you want. But like I said, most of the time, uh, these sounds are designed to be already processed. So all we would really need to do is maybe apply a bit of EQ and, you know, like some spatial processing, like reverbs and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe a bit of compression or however you want, like some saturation or something like that. So you can kind of get a little bit experimental with the processing. And I think having something like this um, has allowed me to kind of focus more on the processing side of things as opposed to just synthesizing these sounds, which I end up doing most of the time in my tracks anyway, very similar kind of things. <laughs> Cool. 
cool. Let's look at some of the other ones. So here, what I like to do to get these kind of parts to like interplay with each other is to just duplicate the MIDI and then just mute all of the instances of notes that are kind of on this MIDI channel. And then we can kind of see where there are notes that are overlapping. And for example, like don't put notes there so we can kind of get these synths to juggle with each other. So here I want to have a look at Malfunction Machine, which is the kind of like tuned, gritty, glitchy kind of uh, instrument. All sorts of things from slight vocal, choppy things to synthy, uh, glitchy things. Let's see what we can come up with here. <laughs> I still want to leave a bit of space for the squelches and stuff. I don't want to get too complex with it. I guess squelches would be less relevant, but let's just have a look anyway.
Anyways, you guys get the picture. Check out the link to my Shopify down below where you guys can grab this. Uh, I'm going to be selling them as individual instruments as well as a kind of pack for a slight discount, I think. But check out the links below uh, where you can see all the info on that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm definitely going to be working on some other ideas with, within this kind of like simple multi-sample instrument type of thing. So, I mean, if you guys have other ideas, let me know in the comments um, of stuff that you would like to see uh, that might make your life or workflow easier. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. See you guys next time. Cheers.